Forget everything that you think you know. Vampires exist. The vampire is an archetypal figure, who appears in many myths from around the world. The prevalence of vampires in myths from all over the world, underscores the fact that vampires exist, and are real. But, understanding the reality of vampires occurs on two levels. In space, and, time. In space, vampires are related to the reptilian extraterrestrials. The reptilians are extraterrestrial beings who have a longer life expectancy than human beings, and reptilians secretly control all the governments and religions on planet Earth. The wealthy elite upper class, secretly worship, and make blood sacrifices to the reptilians, and the reptilians eat human bodies, and drink human blood. This is why Christians symbolically drink the blood of Christ, because they are reenacting a vampire reptilian ritual. Christianity is vampirism. Thus, the reptilian vampires are actually the highest social class on earth, on the top of the food chain. This is why vampires are always depicted as aristocratic blood-sucking immortals. This is why the aristocratic wealthy elite, are symbolically called, bloodsuckers of the poor. Reptilians also have the ability to shapeshift, and this is why vampires are depicted as having the ability to shapeshift into bats. This is also why the comic book character of, Batman, is a wealthy aristocrat named Bruce Wayne, because he is symbolic of aristocratic vampires and reptilians. The most well-known vampire is named Dracula, which means, son of the dragon, and the dragon represents the Draco reptilian extraterrestrials. In reference to time, you have to understand what time you currently live in. Time moves in two opposite cycles, called sun cycles, and moon cycles. The sun cycle represents life, and the moon cycle represents death. During each opposing cycle of time, different opposite races of people rule the planet Earth. White people are the opposite of black people. So, during the moon cycle, white people rule the Earth, and during the sun cycle, black people rule the Earth. Since white people are currently ruling the Earth, this lets you know that, the current time cycle we are in, is the moon cycle, or death. Just like in the horror movies, the vampires are depicted as the rulers of all the undead demons and monsters, and so it follows, white people are the rulers during the moon cycle of the living dead. The word monster means, moon star, and the word demon means, dead moon. White people are also called Caucasians, which means, carcass Asian, symbolic of death. Therefore, vampires represent white people. Vampires are most commonly depicted as pale-skinned, to represent melanin recessive white people. Just like vampires are killed by sunlight, the lack of melanin in the skin of white people, gives them skin cancer and also kills them. Also, melanin recessive people have a high level of hemophilia, which makes them constantly in need of blood, to undergo blood transfusions, since their blood does not contain the necessary factors for clotting. This is vampirism. Have you ever wondered, why does your doctor have to take so many tubes of blood from you, just to do one simple blood test? Where is all the extra blood going? The hospital blood banks are just sophisticated ways for real vampires to get all the blood they need. There are not only vampires that subsist on blood, but there are also emotional vampires, and psychic vampires, who subsist by controlling and manipulating your thoughts and emotions. Just like vampires have no life, and must feed on the living, in order to survive, white people have also used the institutions of slavery and colonization, to build their nations, and subsist on the blood, suffering, labor, and life of people of color all over the world. But also, just like vampires, white people cannot directly invade your country, or enter your home, you have to invite them in a door. Religion is the tool used to spellbind and hypnotize the living, to worship the dead, to do the will of the dead, for the survival of the dead, to invite the vampires into your life. Religion is the interference of the dead into the lives of the living. The comic book and movie character, named Blade, the vampire hunter, who is a black man, who is half human and half vampire, is symbolic of black people living during this time of the moon cycle. Blade has all of the strengths of a vampire, but does not have the same weaknesses of a vampire. However, Blade does share one characteristic with the other vampires, and that is the thirst for blood. Blade's thirst for blood is symbolic of black people living during this moon cycle of time, who eat the same carnivorous diet as white people. Blade is called the Daywalker, because sunshine does not hurt him. Blade is symbolic of black people, who can exist during both the moon cycles, and sun cycles, of time. This is why the production company that the actor Wesley Snipes used to make the Blade movies was called, Amen Ra Films, named after the ancient Egyptian sun god. Many African cultures discuss vampires. Obeifo is a vampire creature from the folklore of the Ashanti people in West Africa. 
Simon is a vampire from the mythology of the Dahomey people in West Africa. As is a vampiric being in the folklore of the Aewe people located in the African countries of Togo and Ghana. And, a Simbosan, or, Sasibansam, is a vampire being from the folklore in the African countries of Togo, Ghana, and Ivory Coast. Finally, the reason why silver kills vampires, is because the alchemical symbol for silver is a crescent moon, which is a reminder to the real vampires, that once the moon cycle ends, your time is up.